What is the Harley Davidson BCM? I'll tell you about it inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you enjoy the channel and the series of videos. Please like, share, subscribe, leave those comments below, and check out the website revelatoralpha.com. So, in this video, I'm talking about the BCM. Yes, that's the Harley Davidson Body Control Module. Well, what is it? Well, it's a small rectangular box, for want of a better word. Uh, it's uh, located on the electrical panel on the right-hand side of the motorcycle, so you can take off the electrical cover on the right-hand side, and you'll see it located in there. Now, it works in conjunction with the ECM, the Electronic Control Module, or some people like to refer to it as the Engine Control Module, also with the ABS and with the Instrument Module. Now, essentially, the body control module is a controller. It actually manages the whole system, the CAN bus system. Uh, watch my video up there for the CAN bus system. Um, how each module communicates with each other, and it tells each module, especially the ECM, when and where it needs to take action. So according to the data that it is receiving from the sensors and from the equipment on board the, the uh, motorcycle, it will then tell the ECM to activate or deactivate a particular component on the motorcycle. The BCM also alerts the ECM uh, the actual status of the motorcycle, whether the ignition is on, whether it's off, whether the motorcycle has been tipped over or not when the starter is being used. And it will also cut the uh, engine and the fuel pump if the engine kill switch is pushed or the bike is tipped over as well. So there are two basic types of uh, BCM. There is the Y-axis uh, BCM, which is on the soft tails, and then you've got the X-axis uh, BCM, which is located on all the other Harleys. Within each BCM type, there are three variants. You have a without a key fob security system, with a key fob security system, but that's only for Japan because they have a different wireless connection. And then you have with a keyless fob, uh, and that's for the rest of the world. The BCM directly powers various things, such as the starter solenoid, the ACRs. Watch my other video for those the fuel pump, and it will also disable the fuel pump if there's a security violation with the alarm system on your motorcycle. Now, it also works in conjunction with the ECM to power the coils and the injectors, but it doesn't control the throttle. Now, it also houses the accelerometer, so watch my other video about tipping the motorcycle over and how to start that. But essentially, what that does, that will detect whether the motorcycle has been lent over too far or has been tipped over past a certain angle. It's almost like a bank angle sensor. Then that will prevent the motorcycle from being started. There has to be a proper procedure to reset everything, and then you'll be able to start it up again. Now, the BCM also controls all the lighting on the uh, motorcycle, apart from fog lights and accessory lights. Now the lights don't have any fuses, what happens is that the BCM will detect if there's any issue within the circuitry and it will shut off the power to those lights, whether it's headlights or turn uh, indicators. Now as a side note here, if you're replacing turn indicators, for example, with LEDs, then you have to make sure that the LEDs are CAN bus compliant uh, or CAN bus ready. In other words, that they will be able to communicate with the BCM and that the BCM will be able to control the lighting uh, that is being emitted, whether it's in a turn signal or whether it's in a, uh, a headlight, for example. Now, if any of the lighting is not compatible with the CAN bus and with this BCM, then you're likely to get error codes. Now, the error codes are B codes, and they are what we commonly refer to as the DTCs, the Diagnostic Trouble Codes. Now, obviously, uh, uh, the BCM will also control the uh, security system via the FOB. Now, it will have the alarm and it will have the siren. Now, for 2020 models, there isn't the alarm siren as standard. That is an accessory, an additional accessory that you can purchase with it. And that will plug directly into uh, the BCM. And you can watch my video of there uh, about that as well. 
Now, not all BCMs on all bikes function in exactly the same way. It really depends which BCM you have on which motorcycle, which model year, and that will determine which functions it has and what components it will directly control or directly monitor. Now the BCM is directly linked to the ECM and the VIN number of your motorcycle. If let's say for example, you had a fault with your BCM and you wanted to change that BCM for another one by yourself, what will happen is that the ECM will not recognize the BCM and therefore it will shut down the motorcycle. It will, it will prevent the motorcycle from being started. That means no power to the fuel pump, the coils, the injectors, so on and so forth. Now, essentially, the ECM acts in a way as if the motorcycle has been stolen. Therefore, it stops all the power to the starting uh, elements of the engine. The only way to properly change a BCM uh, on your motorcycle with the CAN bus system is to take it to a Harley dealership and they will be using their digital technician to diagnostics and also their proper software to remap the ECM and then to link the BCM to the ECM with the correct VIN number. Thereafter, it will all function correctly. Now, of course, you can change the BCM by yourself if you have all the equipment and all the necessary tools and the knowledge, of course, to be able to change it. Any new BCM will supersede an older BCM. Therefore, it will adopt all the functionality of the older BCM and still be able to run an older motorcycle, depending, of course, whether that BCM is compatible with that motorcycle in the first place. So there you have it, that is the BCM, the body control module. It actually controls what is going on, the motorcycle controls all your lighting, and it basically tells what the ECM needs to do, whether it has to kick into life or not, whether it can stay dormant or not, whether it has to react to a certain sensor or not. But it's essentially to do with the lighting, the CAN bus system and how it interacts with all the other modules and all the other sensors on board the motorcycle. It is primarily linked to the security system, the fobs, the lighting system and to relay the status of the motorcycle to the ECM. There you go. So that's it. That is the BCM. I hope you found that useful. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, leave those comments below and check out the website revelatoralf.com and I will catch you on the next video coming very soon. Bye now. Revelator.